Hi, everybody. Welcome to GW Center for Integrative Medicine. I'm Dr. Kogan, medical director. So today I want to briefly talk about a pretty new therapy that we call 40 hertz um, gamma light therapy combined with sound therapy for not just Alzheimer's disease, for any kind of cognitive impairment, including um, patients with long COVID, including patients with chronic mold toxicity, including any patients with any kind of chronic cognitive decline. So what is 40 Hertz therapy? Uh, it turns out that our brain constantly generates particularly particular brain waves. And one of the most important waves in there is, 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 is a 40 Hertz therapy or 40 hertz light normally. It, it's just our brain tends to generate this. So when we shine the light into our eyes or into eyes of animals, uh, and that's been studied quite widely, uh, we actually seeing a pretty significant improvements. The reason I'm deciding to talk about this separately is because as I'll show you in a minute, we actually already have a device on the market and it's just an iPad. It's so a regular iPad Pro 2017 or earlier. You can buy it on Amazon used for just over $200. And um, it's seemingly sufficient. Now, you do have to use certain app that I'm also going to show you in a couple of minutes. And the sign's becoming pretty strong. Uh, in a minute, I'll show you the most recent control trial in humans uh, that was uh, just published before the end of the 2022. And... Uh, there is also multiple studies in animals, and I'm also going to uh, show you in a link. There's a TED talk on this topic by a pretty well-known 40 hertz light and sound therapy researcher. So you can get a little bit more clarity if you're interested in more details on the actual mechanism of how the, the this particular light therapy can clear the plaques and tangles and improve the cognition. But um, as I said, I'm going to show you the most recent study first. Uh, so this is the study that was published in a very prestigious medical journal called PLOS1. And the title is Gamma Frequency Sensory Stimulation and Mild Problem Alzheimer's Dementia Patients Results of Feasibility and Pilot Study. So uh, in this study, uh, the, the 40 Hertz uh, gamma entrained using sensory stimuli or genus, that's the device that, that um, this particular study was using. Uh, has uh, applied to 20 normal patients with normal con cognition and to 16 patients who had a well-established documented early Alzheimer's disease. And uh, so here's the, they describing the participants, the, the healthy partic participants were pretty young. So they were 18 to 35 years old. And um, they also had uh, some um, older adults as well. Uh, so you see there was a mixed group of 13 younger adults and 12 older. Um, and then probable dementia was diagnosed in, as I said, in 16 patients. And their scores um, on uh, cognitive, cognitive scores were pretty mild, 19 to 26. And this was done at the University of Iowa. Uh, and um, I'm going to show you. So this is, this is the actual mechanism. This is how they recruited the patients. They excluded some patients, not too many. Um, and um, so their results, um, I'm going to show you here, as you can see. So this is the starting point, and then here is the data on what happened. Oh, this is the device. Um, so the device is pretty bulky, and that's another reason why I wanted to make this video, as you'll see in a second. So, you know, you have to have this board. Uh, the sound comes from here and uh, the light comes out of the actual screen. Um, and by the way, this is not yet easily commercially available. There are some um, commercially available 40 Hertz products. However, those particular ones have not been studied. And as you'll see in a minute, I think using iPad is way easier actually. Um, and so the data. So this is the table three. So the phase one was the safety. Um, and they wanted to make sure that no one had uh, seizures and nobody did. Um, and then they had the actual active versus control. So as you can see, it was very safe. There was no side effects. Um, and if you look at the outcomes of an actual um, trial, 
uh, if you're going to end up looking through the study that I'm showing you now in details, they actually literally have seen some improvement in anatomy of the brain. So the areas that are responsible for processing and for creation of memories, particularly hippocampus, have improved um, after just three months of this approach. Um, and that's pretty much it for the study. So I'm going to uh, stop sharing and I'm going to show you actually what is the app and how you can get it uh, if you decide to purchase it. So you will need to download this particular app. Um, it's called ALZ Life. It is both the sound and light therapy. And here's the most important part. You will have to get an iPad Pro. If you get a regular iPad or a regular um, iPhone, it's not going to work because those only generate a 30 hertz light uh, therapy, and that's not the right wavelength. It has to be 40. So if you go to Amazon, which is what I'm about to show you, and uh, so this is probably the cheapest iPad. It has to be 2017 or newer. It doesn't matter the size of the screen, and it does not matter the size of the memory. Of course, the new iPad you may spend up to, you know, thousand dollars or more. Um, and reality is basically the iPad becomes the screen itself. Uh, when you go to this app, uh, the you will download the app. So you go to App Store, you can download this like this this uh, app, and then we're going to engage with the app and and provide the light therapy. It's going to be looking. Um, I wish I could show you here, but it's going to look literally just a, like a blinking light. It's it's relatively easy. You don't have to stare at it. This is important. You can simply put the iPad with the sound and with the light in the background, and it'll continue making the 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 the, the sound and the light. Now, one thing you will have to get a very simple uh, speaker, so you can't use the speakers directly for the um, for the um, app itself. You for the iPad itself, you need to get um, a subwoofer, a small subwoofer, and a speaker, um, and that's also pretty simple. And by the way, if you forget that uh, when you download the app, the app itself will remind you before you're going to start using it. So that's in short about this. And um, um, what also I wanted to mention is we're just finishing our own internal study. Our study is not controlled, so we're not um, taking uh, patients with Alzheimer's disease and comparing them. We're simply comparing them to before and after. Our trial was six months. Unfortunately, I can't tell you the data yet and before it's published, obviously, but I will tell you that we're finding a pretty strong positive result, which I think at this point... If you're watching this video and you have a loved one who has um, any cognitive impairment, I highly recommend that approach like this is to be started. It seems to be completely safe, existing equipment. I can't see quite anything negative about this because again, patients don't have to stare at the screen. Uh, some of our patients, while they will be doing some cognitive training, the same app can provide you with some games. Um, and, um, you know, so the cognitive games like Sudoku and a few others. So, yes, yeah, so you could do that while the light and sound are in the background. But you can also eat your breakfast. You can also watch TV and having an iPad in front of you at a little bit lower while you're doing all this and, and getting the, the benefit of the treatment. So um, with that, this is a short video. I don't want to go further. I think there may be some questions about this, which I, of course, will answer as they come up on YouTube, but I'm also going to share this on uh, Facebook and other media. And as I said, I will post in the YouTube description a link to the TED talk on this topic. Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Thank you very much.